replacing values is a big deal in data cleaning because people that enter records for us will enter all sorts of things. And we want to have a consistent measure when we can. So replacing values can give us that. <clears throat> for example, let's take a look at race or ethnicity and then the ability to self-describe. So we've already adjusted the column heading for race or ethnicity for the self description. And we removed all the nulls because we knew that later down the road, we're going to merge these columns together. So there's a couple of cleaning techniques I want to do to the race or ethnicity, the original field. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the self describe below. I'm going to actually right click that and tell it to replace the values. If it says self describe below, then I actually want to replace it with a blank. That's because when I combine it with what they self described as, then it'll just show that value. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Okay. Now, if you're following along with me and self describe below did not show up in your value to find, it is because you did not highlight self describe below before you right clicked. So I'll go ahead and click. Okay. Same thing here. If they did not answer, the standard will be that they decided not to answer. And we could say they preferred not to say, or they just did not answer. And it's a judgment call on your team. And the fact that we gave a prefer not to answer and they still did not answer, I'm just going to right click this, replace the value to did not provide info because prefer not to answer and did not provide info are really not the same thing. I'll go ahead and click. Okay. All right. Great. Because we allowed people to specify gender in a text box, that way we didn't force them to choose. They could just type the gender. This provides us an opportunity to see how the world works. First of all, you see female, again, nulls. You see a question mark, and then you see F for female. Okay, so let's work with the F for female. I'm going to right click and replace values. And again, it gives me the F for female. I'm going to say female. And it's real, real important here that I go to the advanced options. Eventually go to the advanced options and tell it to match the entire cell contents. Cause I don't want it to replace every F with female. I just want it to replace the ones with just literally an F with female. Go ahead and click okay there. Great. Okay. Now I'll go do my M here. Again, go to my advanced options. Again, it would go in and take every M and put male or Fs for females. If you did not check that match entire cell contents, I'll go ahead and click. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to go take my current age range and replace values of null to did not provide info. And same thing here for my highest ed level. I'm going to do this a couple more times, so I'm going to go ahead and just highlight this. Do my copy, just to control C on that. Same thing for gender here. If they did not provide an option, I'm not going to say they did not prefer to say, I'm going to say they did not provide an option. Um, it looks like we maybe have a test record or confused on what to put in the options. They didn't provide a race or ethnicity. 
They didn't give us those descriptions either. So I'm going to leave that in because we can use it for error checking later. Okay, I'm going to work with postal code and postal code home base because they've given us text in here. And anytime we see text mixed in, it's going to give us a challenge if we want to work with these uh, geographically. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video now, but these are the things that I would continuously do through this data set.